This module covers the Tenants Administration screen. If you click on File, Employee, Attendance, Attendance, the Tenants Administration screen appears. This is a screen where you can allocate vacation days taken on a daily basis, sick days, uh, jury duty, bereavement, education leave, or unexplained days. Basically, any absence of the employee can be recorded on this screen. So let's take Lynn Carter as the employee, and if she calls us in the HR office and requests two vacation days, you would type in vac as the type of absence, and immediately you will see on the right hand side that she has a total of 40 days available within the year but as of today she has only accrued 37 days. In the from date we will actually type in the first date she wants to take off so let's say that she wants to take 12.07.04 you press enter enter and an A will appear for AM and she would also like to take 12.08.04 enter enter and you get a P for PM the A and the P refer to full days, AM to PM. In cases where there is a sick day where an employee only took the morning or the afternoon off, it is important to keep track of AM to AM or PM to PM. This will allow you to see trends such as Friday afternoon absences or Monday morning absences. If there's a pattern of these, then you need to talk to the employee and, and find out why. In the next box, under days, we'll type in two for two days. As soon as you press enter, you'll automatically see that the balance has changed to reflect the two days. There generally is no reason for vacation days. It's mostly reserved for sick days and unexplained days. The balance field is automatic. So under the days of the week, we'll put a V for vacation under Monday and V under Tuesday. There is generally no comment for vacation. Maybe if a manager went on vacation, we might want to put their hotel phone number for emergency contact. However, if this employee was replaced from a temporary agency for two days, the cost of that agency would be recorded next to amount. So let's say that the agency fee was $200 a day for the replacement, we would type in $400. The certified field, you would put a R if you require documentation for this absence, such as a doctor's note, or a Y as soon as you receive it, and you leave it blank if you don't actually need one. We will save this record. And let's say the employee on another day called in sick. So this, the day following the vacation, she called in sick. So that date would be 12.09.04. We would t press enter, 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 and we would automatically get the AM to PM for that one day. Type in 1. Since this is a sick record, there are no numbers down in this section here because there's no accrual. The reason for the sickness, let's say the employee told us that it was the flu, very important to keep track of this so that we could see patterns and possibly help our employees with things like flu shot programs or if it was nausea or back pain, some sort of health and safety programs. Once I type in flu, I can press enter. It's not on the list, so I will click add. And in this case, there's no description required, so we would click OK. Next to the day of the week, under Wednesday, we would type in S for sick and under comment if we had any sort of comment uh, refer to this doctor or wait for a doctor's note or such we would type it in. This of course cost us another two hundred dollars to replace the employee with the temporary person and certified I will put a R because we do need a doctor's note and once I receive it we will put a Y. I'll save this record and I'll press F8 to clear the sick mode. If later on I click on the details button I will be able to see a pattern so let me just shift the columns a little bit and you'll notice a pattern V, V and S. If over a year if you see a lot of sick days after vacation days it shows you a pattern of abuse. Once we finish reviewing the details we can click cancel and then press escape or F8 to look at another employee.